Okay, this is the last of the greatest hits of cross sections uh, that are triangles. So this one's going to be an isosceles right triangle, but this time um, the hypotenuse is going to lie in this yellow region um, that I'm calling R. And we're going to have this uh, perpendicular to the x-axis um, just to leave the equations as is. So I'm going to try to draw this here for you. So triangle's going this way. It's a right triangle. There's my right angle, but it's isosceles. So those two legs are congruent. So put in a little box to show it's a right triangle. Those two legs are congruent. So the side across from the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. Okay, the hypotenuse is lying in R. Okay, so I'm going to draw a triangle. Let's see. Okay, actually, let's see if I can rotate this sucker. Yeah, I'm just gonna move, move it down. Triangle, come hither. Just, there we go, now it's not cockeyed. Or maybe it's only a little cockeyed. Maybe I'm cockeyed, anyway. Um, anyway, so this dimension right here is this part right here. Okay, actually let me color code it a little bit better and make it red. Make it red. So that's that vertical distance. So you know vertical distance, we do top minus bottom, but getting back to that. So area, let me put the little box, is base times height divided by two, right? And this is the base, and this is the height, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter, they're the same. So I'm just gonna call them both base. Um, now, here's the problem with this. Um, if I were just to, like, if you're like thinking, oh wait, I can just, now I have this in terms of one variable, awesome b squared over 2. Well, not so awesome because this is not written in terms of the base of the height. I'm going to call this c because it's the hypotenuse. I think of the Pythagorean theorem. And this is defined by this vertical distance. And this equation is not defined in terms of c. So we need to fix that. Okay, We need to get b in terms of c. So I'm, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So c squared uh, is b squared puts h squared, which I could just say is b squared plus b squared because they're congruent. And then I could say that c squared is equal to 2b squared. Now there's two roads you can go down. So one road is you could just keep going and um, you know get c in terms of b. So I'm going to go down that road over here. Um, I'm sorry, b in terms of c. So that means that I would divide the 2 over and I'd have c squared over 2 is equal to b squared and then b is equal to the square root of c squared over 2. So b is equal to c over radical 2 or in other words um, radical 2c over 2. I just rationalized it. Okay. Or, or you could go down this lovely road, which is just say b squared is equal to c squared over 2, and then take that and plop it in there. Because if b squared is equal to c squared over 2, then I can just go straight to this formula. And I could say, well, then area is equal to c squared over 2 times 1 half. If you're like, where did this 1 half come from? That's this right here. This is the same thing as 1 half. So I just pulled it out and put it here. Okay, so that's c squared over 4. Now if you went down this lovely rabbit hole, you're going to get the exact same equation, right? So um, if b is radical 2c over 2, if I have radical 2c over 2, and then I square it, that's my b squared, and then I multiply it by half, which is the same thing as dividing by 2, then I end up with, well, when I square the radical 2, the 2 goes away. I get 2c squared, and I have to square this bottom, which is 4, and then multiply it by 2, and that's 2 over 8, or, you know, the 2's cancel. And I end up with the same thing, c squared over 4. So now in this tiny little corner, I'm going to write my integral, because, you know, the volume is the integral of the area. So c was defined as this vertical distance, and I do top minus bottom, which is going to be 
2x minus x squared. So I'm going to have 2x minus x squared squared all over 4 dx. Limits of integration should be my x coordinates, so from 0 to 2. And you could rewrite that by pulling out this 4, but it's really a 1 fourth. So you, you could also write, and I'm running out of space here, you could write it like this. I mean, I would. I love myself a lot. So I would pull out that coefficient, and that's it.